Okay, quick audio check. One more quick check. Okay, one last test. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. Doing more garden story. I decided to switch the days mainly because I usually have more time on Friday. Like low key I want to play more Stardew Valley. That's why um, Garden Story is switched to Thursday. It is switched on my schedule. Um so yeah. <clears throat> I don't really remember where we left off last week actually. I know that we're in the hamlet, or we're seven days in, oh man. <laughs> I gotta refill my water. Refill the tap. Oh, we already unlocked the boss fight. Oh yeah, we tried it one time, I think. That was it. We only have two hits. It takes so long to get used to it still. Wait till we get the fishing rod. You 
I don't think there's any way we can increase the stamina because from what I've seen, you can only really increase it with um, the dream things. And then when you progress in the story. So not much we can really do for now. Handstone. The... Glowstone. I don't think we have any of those yet. Like at all. So let's try and get our missions done for today. Crossroads. Sap. Okay, so we're going to drop off what we have for now. And then make our rounds towards the beach so we can get some sandstone. there's like a need to kill all the enemies honestly you only really get like coins from them and then like i guess xp but otherwise you can probably just avoid them Oh, does sandstone not grow? Oh, it's not growing right now. Oh, I can't reach it anyway. Oh, we need a hammer. Here we go. It took me a bit to figure out that it shows the icon for what type of damage type you need. I haven't looked up any... Wait. I, I had to look up one walkthrough for one of the puzzles, actually. <laughs> it was in the sewer area, I think. I was like, I'm not good at Sudoku. I was never good at like the little kitty toys where you gotta like rotate the blocks around. Like I was never good at those. Oh okay, yeah, we came down here for sandstone, but they don't even have it, so we can't update our jar. So like that sucks. We're just gonna have to go into the fight with Just really low stamina.
Oh no. I'm so bad at dodging. I'm the worst at it. Okay, all the daily quests are done now. Yeah, we really can't upgrade our stuff until we get the fishing rod and then go to the next area, so. It's gotta go in guns blazing, I guess. I mean, we have six hits, so that's not too bad. Like, legit, it took me, like, 15 tries to get the first boss done. Like, I felt so pathetic. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Okay, let's go. I think the important part is just to make sure you don't get hit in the first few levels. I went the wrong way. Oh, frick. <laughs> Saved. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Oh, frick. I think the drops only heal two bars right now. I'm gonna hold. gonna wait till we're like unpoisoned that way we don't have to worry about it when we go to the next room okay, let's go okay, here we go Just missed him. Oh, frick. Ah, oh, I missed him. They're not doing too bad.
Get this here real quick. I think the trick is just to try and stay as close as you can. Up top here. Ah! Okay, last deal. I could have gotten it there. Could have gotten it. Oh no. We're so close. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we got it! We got it! Nice. That was our second try. Good. Doing well. In the center of the lily sits a small clump of fully matured spores. There will be ample for lily prop propagation. Nice! Got the spores. We get HP, stamina, nice. And there's nothing else here. Welcome back, Concord. Have you found the lily spores? I sure did. Yes, sir. Let me see. Fresh odor. Faintly moist. These are perfect. Must have gotten them really deep. I hope it wasn't too dangerous. In any case, our way to some of them, our way to the summer bar is secured. I love one of the scribes used the spores. Meet me in Shell Cove tomorrow. Cool. So I think what I kind of want to try and do is stay for a few extra days in each town. That way I can level them up a bit before I continue the next one. That way I'm able to unlock all the tools and stuff. Because you can unlock more upgrades the higher your town level is. And then you increase the level by doing missions. Let's refill on our tap. Oh, but actually, like, because upgrades for this town, you can't really get them until you have the fishing rod. Let's see what we have. Now we're basically maxed out on everything we can get in this town for now. Without the rod. The only thing we don't have is the, the eyeglass shards.
I didn't get any goop. Yeah, so I think we can probably just go ahead and go to the lily pond town. That way we can get the fishing rod and then level up there a bit and then come back here. I think that'll be better in this case. Because a lot of the materials you can't get until you have the fishing rod here. Okay, I'm always going to choose the ones that give me more XP, because, like, honestly, I need to be able to take more hits. <laughs> so. Already at level 2 and level 3. That's not too bad. Okay. You're growing. The sprout is not as tiny as they were before. That star that's in your spirit. You'll inspire with each passing moment for me. There may soon be a time when we need you, Guardian. For now, your friends need you. Maybe you can help them shine just as bright as you. I will see you again. Soon. Okay, let's go. It's the tree path. Sap. And then package delivery. Oh, right here, right here. Nah, I don't want to talk to you right now. <laughs> yeah, for sure I'm too important for you, man.
And there's a lot of them here. Nice. We got all the daily missions done. Let's just grab the last few resources we can. And to the lily pad town. Okay, so I think we're done about here. We can go on to the lily pad area. Oh, 
conquered. And look at the waters. I dispersed the spores you found across the water last night. The lily should be buoyant enough to walk along now. Back in my day, we just hop across the tiny paths. But <laughs> this is way safer, of course. If you keep going south, you should hit the summer bar, where Fuji is. Without our architect, we won't be able to repair the hamlet sufficiently. Just watch out. The Alpus can be rife with danger. And you don't need to head out right away. But once you do leave, I'm sure it'll be a while before you can come back to Spring Hamlet. Thanks to your work in our library, we will do fine without you, Guardian. Thank you. I just want to make sure you have everything in order. Are you sure you're ready to go? Yeah, we're, we're about done here. We have max resources for what we can, so... We'll be here waiting. The Summer's villagers are peaceful folk ready to receive you, no doubt. If they are in any danger, I want you to help them. We can get by on our own here thanks to you. Okay, let's go. Conquered? I saw the lilies and wondered who would be coming out here. Surprised to see you outside the hamlet. Though I suppose you are the guardian now. Me being quite sure. I have some things to discuss. Take a moment if you can, Concord. The salt is scent of the seas, the crisp breeze. There's nothing quite like the summer bar. Almost reminds me not home. You don't get this in the hamlet, that's for sure. I do feel bad. I know I've been away for far too long. A few things came up. How's the hamlet been since you became a guardian? Yeah, I've been helping. I never doubted it for a second. You being here is proof enough. You're a long way from home. Yet when I came here, I found the outpost in utter disrepair. It's not something an architect can ignore. Ever since the Guardian sailed off, those who sailed in the summer bar suffered the most. The ones who couldn't leave. This outpost is nowhere close to complete. The rot eats away at all the work I can do. The Hamlet comes here often for rich driftwood. Sea folk have always given them crop freely. I treasure knowing them. We're learning life through them. I've really come to love this place. We're going to help them, Concord. And with a guardian, we'll surely turn the toy tide against the rot. I'm staying at the workshop, but the lighthouse is still free. It's just seen better days. You might just want to be careful. There's been some rot in there. Okay.
Oh, it's not cleared out yet. Okay, never mind. until tomorrow. Okay. Do that. On to our first day here. I see you made quick work of those oozes. Pretty nifty work, Conquered. Quite fitting for a new guardian to settle there, the lighthouse. They originally built it for the guardians to return from their voyage. All the architects of the grove came here to build the outpost. A lot of work went into producing that much light. Of course, it doesn't get much use these days. The Sea Folk wore out the place waiting for the Guardians to return. One hundred sleep nights of light, piercing the night sky, like we had made our own star. If only the voyage turned out better. Summer Bar deserves a light that burns forever. Uh, um, anyways, there's still a lot of work to be done. I cleared the overgrowth last night. Let's head over to Vista Outpost. I'll meet you there, in the center. Okay, so one at the outpost. Three succulents. I think there are succulents up top here, near the town entrance. So we needed three succulents. Oh, sandstone. That too.
Pearl. Welcome, Greenling. Friend of Fuji's, I assume. While your partner is busy with the rest of the summer bar, our forge is unfortunately still broken. I don't suppose you'd want to bring a few succulents for me to reseal its seams. Get it done or don't, I suppose. It's not like we're for strangers to struggle. I just want to see if the new guardians is worth their seesaw. Okay. Five seconds. Oh man, it's gonna be at least two days. Hi, you must be the new guardian. Bridgie told me all about your curious developments in the hymn. It's enriching to have the guardian enter our town again. Our people will be happy to know you're here. I hope the summer bar is more welcoming than overwhelming for you. Fuji assures us that you're exactly what we needed for our problem. Kitty, you couldn't just enjoy your time here. I assure you, if it weren't for the rot, the region is quite relaxing. Ever since my first visit, I walled away so much time on the breezy shores here. I mean, good thing, or I wouldn't have learned to become an architect. I was hoping Guardian and Plum could undertake this quest, but considering the last time they were here, it's probably for the best that you're here instead. I'm sure you were chosen by Plum with good reason, but this task will still be dangerous. Our own architect, Woody, went west to Lilyput a few days ago. The frogs there like to keep to themselves, but we were hoping some of our unity... We were hoping some unity could solve our mutual problems. However, tensions have been slowly growing between us since the waterlog became overrun with oozes. Rots have taken up residence, cutting into our resources. It's an understatement to say that we're stretched thin. Without Woody to maintain our town, the outpost will fall further into ruin. Not in our watch. Seguardo. Wait. Seguaro. Seguaro. Okay. Now we're both here to help. Right. Luckily, Fuji has been helping out. We're still struggling, though. Help us sort some things out, we'll be sure to provide Fuji with everything they need for their return to the hammock. I've marked a map with things you should start with. I hope to see I hope to see if we'll adjust to life here, and I'll do the same for you. A bit of adjustment to be had, especially for a Hamlet Greenling. But if we're gonna stay here for a while, we can learn to live our way. The first thing you want is a dowsing rod. Head northeast to Summer's End, and Conkey can help you. Without a dowsing rod, you won't be able to gather half of what the summer bar offers. Thanks for coming over, Guardian Concord. Glad to have you here. Cool. Okay, so we gotta get the dowsing rods. <sighs> We're gonna sell the shards first. the char. Love that. Sorry, Greenlee. The water log is off limits. Our guardians are gone, and a terrible beast lies down there. Unless you have Seguaro's blessing, I'm not letting you through. Okay. 
No problem. Here lies Blue, the iridescent guardian. The scripture is hard to read, but describes a beautiful guardian from the sea. Smack in the light bulb. <laughs> we got enough succulents now, cool. Oh, are you there? Yeah, that's great, but first could, I could use your help. Okay? Just a few steps north, I'm trying to prevent that dam from flooding this place. Take this thing and go pull up some of those underwater levels. Nice. Okay. Oh, I, I put it back down. <laughs> Oopsie. Let's go. Oh yeah, I think that does the trick. Dang dams are supposed to be carefully are supposed to carefully regulate dew flow to the sea, but nowadays they're just a pain we have to do pain we have to deal with. Now what can I help you with, stranger? You sure? Well, you can hold on to that dowsing rod. I got a bunch to spare. With that, you can pull resources from deep waters. It won't be as easy as pulling a lever, obviously. But if you want to upgrade it a bit more, you'll have to talk to Pearl in the outpost. You've been having some issues, but who doesn't have issues these days? <laughs> uh, dude. We got a twig. Yay. Hold up with their greenling. You got yourself one of those dowsing rods. It's quite nice, even in combat. Hope it serves you well. Don't be causing mischief with it, though. Randy used to use that to yank my shell off. But you don't seem to like a prankster. Or, but you don't seem like a prankster, so I'll let you off the hook. Yeah, because you can use the fishing rod to pull off the shells of certain enemies. Otherwise, they don't take any damage.
Please tell me you've come with the materials I require. A time without a working forge is a risk to every worker here. Yeah, I got him. Really, give him here then. Grand work. I'm starting. I'll start applying this immediately. I knew you'd be a great help the moment I laid my eyes on you. Thanks for the materials. Come back later, and I'll have the forge set up. Nice. We can upgrade that because I know we have 10 shards. Nice. Okay, so I kind of want to go back into. This area, and then do a bit of fishing. Another twig. We love that. It's not going to reach that. It says I got a missed call, but you know, it's fine, it's fine. It's Ite. Oh, it's still got it. I always get so excited whenever I get a phone call. So I'm like, oh, maybe it's actually someone. But like, I'm not waiting for any callbox or anything. So like, why would I be getting a call? And like, 10 out of 10, it's usually like, scammers.
We got two goops. Well, that guy's not there anymore. Looking a little salty for a grape, at least. <laughs> the sea folk tell me you've been a great help. I know we do things a bit different than Spring Hamlet. How does it feel so far, Concord? The breeze. Good to hear. I think the sum of ours suits you. But I know you'll be heading back to Spring Hamlet in due time. You've been a great help already. There's something we can only ask of you. I've been filling in for the local architect, Woody. Hard work to be done. As you know, Woody left for Lilliput some time ago to secure resources for the outpost. Yet they haven't returned. Though I find it hard to believe, some here sp suspect Woody's being held there. Certain citizens on Lilliput have always been rude to us, harassing the seafood constantly. It wouldn't be a stretch for them to keep Woody as a prank. Rob knows Pagu has suffered at their hands enough. However, they may be more apt amicable to an official guardian. If those frogs are keeping Woody there, we gotta bring him back. Jokes are fine, but the sea folk are having separation issues. That sounds a bit extreme, even for the frogs. I pray it isn't so, of course. We weren't always as suspicious. Time was, some of our villagers were the most tender people of the grove. Can you blame us for changing a bit? After what we've been through as a community? Woody is priceless to us. Every villager is. And it's my job to see them return safely. But Fuji is right. This attitude isn't the way to foster goodwill. Which is why we're delegating the matter to you, Concord. Right now, the bridge to the Lilliput is broken. So you'll need to fix it. Woody could swim, but a greenling? I think not. The workshop is set up for building, thanks to yours truly. Meet me in the choir shore when you're ready. I'm sure I can teach you a thing or two about building. Skimmer. Ah, visitor. In the visitor center? I mean, <laughs> hello there. Nice to meet you. This is the Summer of our Visitor Center. It's been a bit since we've had actual visitors, so I'm sorry if the place is a mess. We've had some issues with the paperwork, but it seems to be accepting samples again. Well, well, it's fine. You can if you want to. But most of you folk aren't interested in reading. An empty visitor center with no tourists can get me depressing. And, and it's not like I'm doing a very good job as a scribe right now. Can't lie, it's quite boring here. If you have time, could you go bug that guard next to the water log? If Saguaro is going to let me out of my library duties, I need a tool to use. I heard Seth had a spare parasol. I want to work with my hands. I'll watch an empty building all day. Not like anybody comes here.
Yeah, I don't know if it'll let me go to the workshop now because it's kind of late. Actually, I'm sure you've noticed by now, Umbabar is a weird place. See folk are quite different than the other creatures of the grove. I believe it only makes it more necessary to help them complete the summer bar. Even if they can't venture inland, what they have here is special, and I want to make sure they can hang on to it. I think after we fix the grove, I'd like to spend more time here. It feels more home than the Hamlet ever did for me. That all comes after, though. First, the work, and together, we'll surely get it done. If you can get some of our overall maintenance level bumped up, I can start helping you build stuff here. It'll be nice to add a fresh coat of paint to the summer bar. More than that, we can start clearing paths to other places. I'm getting distracted, but for now, hit those re red requests. I'm gonna start gathering stuff I'll need to make building available to you. Okay, so we gotta spend a few days here anyway. Quite all right. Okay, we can probably go to bed now then. We don't need that run speed. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. Okay, so we gotta get level 2, and then once we get to level 2, then we can progress. But for now, we just have to focus on the daily missions. Okay, Lily Landing. Quiet Shore. Then a Yellow Shell.
reach. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just flop down. Oh, <laughs> okay, I thought there was like a screenshot. I was like, uh oh.
So we need five yellow shells. Okay. Base damage and then the time it takes. Hmm. Forgot what the missions were. <laughs> well, they're all done. Cool. Even better. Oh, I see. I got it. Oh. I never could figure out how to get that spot. Yeah, to talk to this guy. I'm here on Skimmer's behalf? They want to do different work. I guess it couldn't hurt. Visitor Center is kind of been a mess. We used to do a lot, but nothing's organized. No matter, I guess. Maybe the change in pace will help Skimmer. Nobody wants to get cooped up too long. <laughs> I was going to get rid of those, um, gross shelled rots. But I spend time working on the parasol instead. But I can spend time working on that parasol instead if you want. Could you please get rid of them? They've been coming out each day to bully me. I mean, I would happily get rid of them as a guard, but I want to make sure the parasol is just right for someone their size. You need my help right now, so it's only fair, right? me from here. That's not fair. Nice show.
feels bad throwing stuff. It's like, I'm the type of player where, like, I will hoard everything. Ah, nothing good. No goo. Ah, come on, I want some goo. In Reef Ridge. Oh, but he's not there. Oh, that sucks. Not fair. in there. Time for the next day. Ah, we don't need that. I don't it's like I'd rather just use the jars to heal, honestly. That's probably one more day worth of chores. So we can hit level two of maintenance.
Okay, so I'm probably gonna do one more, like, in-game day. It's each day is about 20 minutes. Every fridge. Summer's end. And stone. I kind of want to go this way first. That way I can fight the monsters when that guard is there. That's what I missed out on yesterday. I need a six stand stone. Oh, we got enough. Okay. Do ten sandstone. I mean, we'll get more later today, so not so big a deal. I think it'd be cool if different villages sold resources for different prices. Because from what I've noticed, they all sell at the same price.
I think I can talk to this guy now. Yeah. I was wondering when you'd get here. There's way less of those... things. I don't enjoy seeing the rotten sea folk shells. It's... uncanny. Pony says I'm a coward, so they take the night shift when most of them are out. Some guard it turned out to be. In any case, I prepared this tool for Skimmer. Please look out for them. I know we haven't had many people coming here, but the visitor center is a symbol of hope. I hope they'll come to see it that way. I just wanted to drop off my resources there before I head to the next area. Let's go. Yeah, see, I'm already full already. Then I needed 10 sandstone for that one upgrade, so I can maybe get those in time before the shop's closed, maybe. 
Be kind of pushing it though. Oh, is he gonna say the same thing every time? It's annoying. I don't think I've had a sandstone. Yeah, I don't. So I'll have to upgrade that next time. I mean, it's I. It's I. I think I've gotten most everything I can for now. Ah, oh, I didn't check, I didn't check. I think I got all the daily missions. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. I think I'll call it a day. I don't have anything to donate. Okay, let's refill. Oh, that's a really good item. I'm definitely gonna save this one for when I get a new slot. Let's see what we got. Nice! Okay, so we got level 2, so... Next week we should be able to go into... Or unlock the woodshop. Okay, so let's go ahead and pause it here. Okay, cool. Yeah, so honestly, I really love this game. Like, it's definitely a bit more of a chill one, but you know, it's okay. Yeah, so I'll be back again tomorrow, same time. Love and PSD, probably doing Stardew Valley. I'm debating whether or not I want to do Animal Crossing on stream because I promised myself um, if I, or once I defile it, I'm gonna delete my save and start a new one. Cause like, I haven't touched the game since March of this year, so almost, about 8 months, right? And then I booted it up today cause like, you know, all the, uh, finally all the updates are done, right? And it's like, oh, there's so much new that I can do. So it's like, I wanna try and like, make it look pretty before I have to delete it, so that's what I'm gonna be working on. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. I hope you all have a good one. Bye.